Hi, this is Steve Nissen, CEO and founder of CandleCharts.com, and thank you for attending this special video, short video presentation. For those not familiar with my work, I was the very first to reveal candlesticks to the Western world. Uh, my books have been translated into many, many languages. Uh, I've spoken in front of the Federal Reserve and the World Bank. Uh, and so the goal here is to show you how you could start boosting your confidence by using candle charts. And before we actually begin the presentation, just want to give you a disclosure. Uh, remember that there's a risk of loss of trading in pretty much any market. And if you want to read this full disclosure, here is the link. What we're going to be looking at in this video is geared for those either new to candles or are experienced. And I'm going to show you how quickly you will be able to boost your confidence for trading and investing by adding candlesticks to your arsenal. Why do the best traders and investors use candle charts? Well, they're very easy to understand, and for those new, I'll give you the basics in a couple of minutes. The most powerful feature about candlesticks is they're often the very first to give you reversal signals, so you could jump onto a new trend just as beginning, uh, just as the beginning and equally important, knowing when to get out of a trade or investment. The third bullet point here, safety first. It's not only knowing what trades or investments to get in, but also which ones to avoid because at the end of the day, it's not only how much you made, but how much you didn't lose. We'll also be looking at the combination and the power of combining Eastern, that is, Japanese candlestick charts with Western technical indicators. And importantly, candle charts work in all markets and all time frames. As proof of this, my books have been translated into actually over 20 languages. And we at candlecharts.com have students from over 85 countries from around the world. So when we say all markets, we mean all markets can be used with candles, whether it's stocks, options, uh, cryptos, all time frames, anything from a minute to a weekly. Now, let me show you why the candles are so powerful. For those who are new to candlesticks, or for those who are experienced, it's good to remember this, that candles, like a bar chart, shows the price of a market. But the potency of the candles is that they reveal the force of the current move. So let me give you an example. And this is a good segue into those who are new to candlesticks on the construction of the candlestick line. So a candlestick line is made of a rectangular portion called the real body. And there are lines above and below the, uh, the real body called the shadows. Now notice in this illustration, the real body is green. And on the to the right, it's red. A green real body, or depending on your charting system, it might be an empty real body, but a green real body means the close is up here and the open is down here. So the real body is a relationship between the open and closing. Uh, a red real body means the open is higher than the close. That means the market closed weaker. The lines above and below the real body show the highs of the session and the lows of the session. So it's the same information as the bar chart, but I'm going to show you in a second why you can get more information with a candle than a bar chart. Here we have what are called doji. That's when the opening and closing are the same. Okay. So let's look here. We know a green real body means the close is up here and the opens here. Who's in charge in this session? Whether it's a one minute or a weekly chart, it doesn't matter. Obviously the bulls, right? The market opened down here by the end of the session here. Who is in control here? The bears during that session. Now, who is in control here with the doji, with the open and closing are the same? Well, nobody's really in control. There's an equilibrium of forces. And a doji during a rally is telling us that the market is tired. Doesn't mean it's going to go from up to down, but it does change the trend from up to more neutral. We'll look at an example of doji in a couple of minutes. So let's look at one of our first candlestick signals. Okay, here we have one. The market's in a downtrend. There's a red real body, that means it closes down here. And then the next session, there's a green real body that wraps around the red real body. Okay, who's taking over here, right? The bulls are taking over from the bears. 
Okay, there's a potential bottom reversal pattern called the bullish engulfing pattern. Here, the market's during a market is rallying, green wheel body. Okay, the bulls are still slightly in control. It's not a big green, green body, but it's you know showing us the close is higher than the open. And then a red wheel body where the market opens higher and then closes weaker, wraps around the prior green body. Obviously, the bears are taking control. So let me show you how this helps you in the real world. Okay, this is called, a, we're gonna look at a bullish engulfing pattern. The market's in a downtrend. Uh, and as I mentioned, the green wheel body wraps around the red wheel body. And this is the psychology, this is an important psychology be be, uh, behind each of the candlestick signals. And you don't have to be a trading or investing genius to figure out what the psychology is. We just looked at, we could see the size and the color of the real bodies to understand what's going on between the bulls and the bears. So an example here, and I chose a weekly chart, it happens to be the S&P, uh, markets in the downtrend, a green real body wraps around a red real body, a potential bottom reversal signal telling us that the bulls have taken control. Now there's always a price that says we're wrong. So if we buy in the bullish engulfing pattern, we should have a protective stop under the low of the bullish engulfing pattern. Now let's look at our next candlestick signal. This is an individual candlestick line. Once again, you know, I give you the details about the psychology, but look, we could visually look at the candlestick line itself. The market's in a downtrend. There's a very long lower shadow, at least twice the height of the real body. And that's telling us that the market had sold off right at some time during the session. It had gotten down here. By the end of the session, it could be a green or red real body. The market had closed, in this case, at the highs, or even though the close was over here, remember it's a red real body, so the opening's here and the close here, it's still showing a strong bounce back from the lows of the session. The Japanese will say the market is hammering out a base. Now I'm gonna show you how we could use a hammer in combination or any candlestick signal with Western technical indicators. Remember, whatever you're, because the candlestick line uses open, high, low, and close, just like the bar chart did, does, uh, whatever Western technical techniques you like, moving averages, trend lines, oscillators, uh, Bollinger Bands, you add them onto a candlestick chart. And the reason that becomes important is as shown in this next slide here, I'll show you, here's some of the books I've had translated. These are the books I had translated from Japanese to English back in the 1980s. Again, you know, I was the first to do all the research, the years of research, speaking to the top Japanese technical analysts before I, I wrote my first book. And actually this uh, booklet, this, uh, these pages here, these are all the English translations of the Japanese books. So you can see how many hundreds and hundreds of pages I uh, did, and that's why I spent so many years uh, uncovering what I call the secrets of the Orient. But the reason I wanted to show you this is because pretty much in each of the Japanese books, they also discussed Western indicators. And that's what the Japanese have been doing for generations, combining candlesticks with what we here use in the West, Western indicators, moving averages, and so forth. So, uh, and this brings me to my trading triad. So triad is a Latin word for three. And we have what we call a trading triad success system. The first leg of the trading triad, it's like a three-legged stool, right? You take away one leg of the stool, the stool is going to fall down. The first leg is candle charting techniques. We just touched on the essentials before. The second leg, and this increases the likelihood of a trade or investment working, is when you combine a candlestick signal and it confirms a Western indicator. So this is the second leg of our trading triad. We'll look at the third leg in a couple of minutes. So here's a wonderful example. Here, uh, we have a hammer. Okay, this happens to be an Amazon. It's a daily chart, classic hammer. Look at that long lower shadow. But what's key about this hammer is look what it's confirming, a prior low. And this is one of my most important Western indicators. I'll use, you know, moving averages and so forth. But I look, uh, I like looking at major highs and major lows and see if a candlestick signal confirms it because that is kind of a synergy of techniques and it really increases the likelihood 
of the market reversing. Again, you should always have a protective stop. There's always a price that says we're wrong. So let's now look at our touch on what the third leg of our trading triad is, candlesticks and trade management. And one of the key aspects of trade management is risk reward. So even if a candlestick signal confirms another indicator, Western indicator, it's normally not enough of a reason for a trade or investment. One always must consider risk reward. And if you don't have a good risk reward, I would stand aside from the trade. So here, example, this is what we saw a couple of minutes ago with the hammer confirming a support area, a high probability reversal, but we always have to consider the risk reward. So if we buy in the hammer, we're going to be buying, remember, it's not an, an official candle so signal until we have a close because you need open, high, low, and close. So if we buy in the hammer, it'll be, you know, buying it right around the close, right? We would have a protective stop, okay, under the hammer's low, or whatever this low here is, you know, since it's so close to the hammer's low. So we're now looking at the risk reward. My target, now candles don't give targets, my target is the most recent major high. So my target would be up here. Okay, so we now have our stop out level. We have our target. All right. So we could take profits at our target. And what's interesting, look what confirmed the target, the resistance area. A doji, remember what we said, a doji during a rally is telling us the market's tired. That increases the likelihood of a market reversal. So interestingly, look at these doji over here that I just highlighted with the red right here and over here. So you could see how the doji were giving hints of a market reversal. But this one was particularly important because look what happened. The high of the doji became resistance and look how the market stalled at least for a couple of sessions at the doji. So let's go at the risk reward. So if we're buying, again, this is a, Amazon's a high price stock. So if we're buying around 3000 or you may consider a call for you option traders out there, candles are great for options. Of course, implied volatility is important. But when we compare uh, trend to implied volatility, trend has a greater impact on implied volatility uh, on option pricing. So, and our stop would be under the low of the do uh, of the hammer, which is around twenty eight hundred. Our target is thirty four hundred, which happened to have been reached. So this is a really nice risk reward because we're really um, risking, let, let's say, $120 for profit potential of $400, which was reached. So if we did this trade, theoretically, we would have made $400 per share. Or if you had 100 shares, it would be $4,000. And if you happen to be long a call, I didn't do the theoretical values on this you know, for a call, but you would be taking profits here and uh, exiting or offsetting your call up here. So we've now begun to see okay, how you've taken the great first step in learning how to get into or out of a trade. Remember, it's not only entering that's important, but knowing when to exit uh, trade or investment before your competition. A next great step to continue your education is our Express Class Bundle. It's everything you need to know about our proprietary trading triad. Once again, the trading triad is candlesticks. And then we'll show you some of our favorite Western indicators to combine with candles. And then trade management, including you know how to exit a trade, risk reward, and so forth. And as a special bonus, you're going to get full lifetime access to the Express Class Bundle. Normally, it's only a year. Uh, we're going to give you also a specially designed test that ensures you completely and deeply understand all the great information that you'll be getting with the Express Class Bundle. All the handouts are, principal, uh, are uh, printable, and you'll have the ability to ask our team questions with no time limit. So see below for full details. Thank you for joining me.